What's going on everyone? Chris Beans here with Bowler's Rant and today we are taking a look at the road to the journey. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on those notifications. All right, we're doing something a little different today. I wanted to paint a picture of all the Belmont balls and what I'm seeing in terms of patterns, right? Trends. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So a few things. These are organized um, kind of by collection, but also by core. So you see the timeless and the drive, right? We had those particular uh, series and these all have the RGs. So I don't have enough room for all the overseas variants and their RGs or else I just wouldn't have enough real estate, but these are the worldwide releases. So timeless and the drive, both hybrids, one shiny, one not, I think it was R2S hybrid and some form of nano for the drive. 257 and then you get to this 252 number and that's very interesting right oh and by the way none of these are these are all symmetrical none of these are asymmetric i'm going to come back to that at the end 252 is a very interesting number on the promotion with the spec and the piston weight block and then the various versions of that weight block 252 on the trend which was r2s pearl 254 which was uh nano hybrid shiny and then we get to the fate which was rex pearl back to 252 so at least half of these right two Three of these are 252. So what are we looking at with the journey, right? Um, there's some website out there. I don't think it's very reliable, but sometimes they put stuff out for everybody else. And you can see that they're saying it's this Fate Core, right? This was the same one that was in the uh, the Storm Fate, right? A Fate Core. And they're claiming this is another 252 number, which is interesting because these other balls are 252, right? Promotion, Trend, and Fate. Okay, cool. Um, they're also claiming this is TX-16, and they're saying it's a solid. And I know I'm 99% sure this thing is not a solid, right? And there's a bunch of you who already know about it. So you can drop me a comment and confirm what I'm thinking. I just don't like to say it out loud because I never like to say it unless it's absolutely confirmed. And I'm expecting this to be announced very, very soon. But it's shiny. And we know that. So shiny, symmetrical. Is it another 252 number? Belmont seems to like this medium RG, right? seems to work well for him but here's the funny thing it's not the first ball to be called the journey from the storm family products i was doing some digging and guess what there was a roto grip ball called the epic journey and it was at least to according to one two three bowl or whatever that website is it was a two-piece asymmetric and it was 800 grit i mean good lord but i mean if anybody knows anything about this old school ball, drop me a comment and let me know. I'd love to hear from you what your experience was like with that. I couldn't find any flyers. I couldn't find any videos. But yeah, this is what I found on uh, bowl.com. So this was, and this this font selection is very similar to what you see in the top right corner, the journey, right? So I, I find that very interesting. Now, remember, we saw footage of Kyle Troop throwing this in test form. I like to stress test form. They could have made some tweaks afterwards of the journey. It's shiny. It gets down there. It snaps. It's what you want, right? We're not upset about that. And we also saw Belmo throwing it. And you can see that logo on there, right? Bang, 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 bang. And by the way, these lanes were trash. Belmont himself told me these lanes were just completely destroyed. And he's st still making it look amazing. But look at that. You can see swirl in the cover stock. It gets down there. It still reads and bang, right? So I'm guessing it's a shiny symmetrical hybrid or a shiny symmetrical pearl. One of those two more than the other. You guys know what I'm talking about. But let's just say it was a pearl. Well... This is going to be one of those balls that, you know, prints money. Everybody likes pearls. I feel like the symmetrical pearl bowling ball is the quintessential ball that you can put in your back because you can bring a solid to some dry lanes and it's not going to be great, right? Like if you were to bring this ball to and it's 800 grit and it's asymmetric, it's going to just going to go to the left. But if you got something shiny, that you can use for a variety of conditions. You can do a lot with a shiny pearl. You can sand it, you can polish it. You know, it just fits a lot of different bowling styles. And so now you got Belmo's signature on it. It's gonna have supposedly this really badass F8 core, right? It's gonna have this, some form of this cover stock on there. I think you're gonna have a lot of people very, very, very happy because it's going to print money and good for Storm and good for Belmo. So 
This is what we're looking at, but I'm guessing either this week or next week, sometime very soon, Storm is going to uncork this thing. And hopefully we've got some really badass videos of not just Belmo throwing it and talking about it. Which, by the way, I loved the Timeless video that he did. He was saying the most successful cover stock in the history. Like, I loved all that stuff. Yeah, it's marketing and I like that Kool-Aid stuff. But then again, I'm a cinematographer, so you're barking up the wrong tree if you're hating on it. But I want to see the guys over at Storm. I want to see Steve Klemkin throw it. I want to see, uh, I'd like to see Alice Hoxton throw it, you know. I want to see Chad McLean throw it. He's my favorite. I love watching Chad Bill. Um, yeah, that's what we got. So what do you think, right? And Oh, and by the way, I want to make sure I didn't forget. Almost forgot. Go back here. Oh, man. These are all symmetricals. So what do I feel like is going to complete this journey? Pun intended. I feel like Belmo needs to build the asymmetric ball of all balls. And I feel like it needs to be a shiny asymmetric hybrid. I think he won with the UFO alert. It was a really good look for him. I think if you build an asymmetric Belmo ball, not only will you be able to charge more, I think people will pay for it. People love asymmetric balls, but I think it needs to have the best shelf appeal. It needs to be one of those signature balls, the ball of a decade. And I think you could do it if you put the right core, the right cover, the right marketing. It has to be the right reaction, and that thing's got a boom from Mars and then some. That's what I think would really complete this journey of the collection. But again, tell me what you think. You know, based on what you've seen so far, do you think this is a shiny hybrid? Do you think it's a pearl? Do you know what the cover stock is? And would you like to see a Belmo symmetric ball? Drop me a comment. Let me know. Let's continue the conversation. More updates are coming. And until then, oh well.